Gabby, congratulations on your milestone. How does it feel? To be the second AFLW Tiger player to play 50 games for the club, closely following Mon last week. What does this mean to you? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm spewing I missed two games last year, uh, so I could have done it with money. But um, yeah, it's one of those ones that it's like, I can't believe that I'm at 50 already, but also like, it feels like, um, yeah, it's cool to have played so many games across a number of years and that sort of thing. So yeah, I feel pretty proud to be hitting 50. Yeah, what about you? Starting your days at Richmond VFLW and then Carlton and then coming back to your roots here. How does it feel? Um, it's a little bit surreal, honestly. I wouldn't have thought I'd see the day I'd play 50 games of AFL footy. Um, but I'm super excited and I can't wait to have my family and friends there to celebrate it with and especially to be back in the black and yellow. And it's crazy that you're only 24, like you must still feel like you've got so much ahead of you. What are you hoping to achieve next? Yeah, I can't believe I'm only 24 as well <laughs> and to get 50 games by 24 I think is yeah a bit surreal again. But I think yeah, I've got plenty of footy ahead of me. I'm excited to see what's to come. I'm excited with our team as well. And yeah, I'm excited for the future and where I can take my footy as well because yeah, 24 is pretty young. Being able to see like Tam out on the oval and she's the oldest on the track at the minute. So I'm sure I've got plenty more years left in me. Love that. Um, same to you, Gab. Initially you were added to our list as a cross coder. Could you ever imagine you'd play 50 games of AFLW? Yeah, I think I was happy just to play one, to be honest. But yeah, I think I think of myself now as a footballer. Like I used to always say, even in my first season and stuff, I was like, no, nah, I'm a volleyballer sort of thing. But yeah, I think I've put enough games together now that I'm like, yeah, I'm a footballer now. And what would you say, like, I've obviously seen you since VFL days, so what do you reckon was the hardest skill to master? Because you've mastered them all, but I'd love to know what skill you found the hardest and yeah. yeah, definitely kicking. Like I had this memory the other day because we played at Icon Park last week and I think I took a mark in a similar spot on the ground and I remember in my first game like I took I took the mark and then I went to kick it and the ball just like rolled along the ground. <laughs> so yeah, happy I can now um, hit kick a drop punt. We did play VFLW together back in 2019. What do you remember about those days in the beginning of Richmond? Yeah, I sort of feel in some ways like I was just thinking before, I was like, not that much has changed really. Like, we still got you, we got Moni, we got KB, Beck Miller down back, Dems on the wing. So it's actually pretty cool that we've got like some of that core group really still together. Um, something I always think that Richmond's done really well right from the start of VFLW is they always prioritise making a really professional environment. Like, even before we were, you know, close to full-time athletes and that sort of thing, the sort of things that the club did in terms of like our resourcing, um, the quality of training and that sort of thing they gave us access to. What about some of your favourite memories? What would have been some highlights from those first 50 games? I'll always say my number one highlight would be playing my first ever AFLW game, Beat which is crazy. Points, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, we yeah. played, I was at Carlton and we versed Richmond, Icon Park. But it was an amazing crowd, it was a summer night, um, the sun was setting, I think there was up to like, I don't know, 5,000 people, which felt like, a, like it was full in Icon Park. I'll never forget it and you know, you have all your best mates and your family and friends and yeah, just to be able to run out and play my first ever AFLW game was pretty cool. So I'd put that up there as my number one. What about yourself? One that comes to mind is when we played Brisbane on grand final day a couple of years ago and um, yeah we beat them as like kind of underdogs and yeah that was sort of like the first, it was like the first real scalp that we'd taken as a team and that kind of day as well it just felt like oh hang on we're starting to like string some games together here you know what can we do here what can we achieve so yeah that was, that was a pretty cool moment. Eh? It's pretty cool to look back on those types of things. Yeah. How much are you looking forward to running out um, together in front of the Tiger Army <laughs> for your milestone? <laughs> I'm super excited I mean I couldn't have asked for a better person to run out with you're an amazing leader at the club um, You've definitely helped me develop into the player I am today and to be able, not on the field, but off the field and to show me how to, yeah, always strive to be better and to put in the extra hours. So I couldn't have asked for a better person to run out with. No, well, congratulations Literally. on the milestone and yeah, yeah. looking forward to running out Congratulations with you. to you too. It's an amazing effort.